Yeah, hi friends. Welcome again with Dwarka Education. In today's session, uh, we are just going to discuss about uh, post APIs. So, how we can write the post API. Uh, so, uh, let me just brief about what we have done uh, till uh, today. Uh, so, we'll discuss about how we can create the REST API, how we can create the path, how we can pass the path parameters, how we can how we can create the query parameters. Now, it's time to be work on the uh, post API. So let's discuss how we can create the post API and how we can just pass the uh, request body parameters in the post API. So in the today's session, we are just going to discuss about uh, uh, post API. So uh, uh, in, in today's uh, let, let me just uh, uh, come on the uh, starting how we can create the API. We'll discuss at the beginning. First of all, we can, we just import the fast api package this is a recap one so then we'll create an object of the fast api after writing these two lines you can just directly come on the uh, this uh, this part that i'm just going to write we can just create the post api to creating the post api what we need to do we need to just write the endpoint app dot uh, i can write post uh, this is the uh, default method in it. So whatever you uh, whatever you write here, that's the end point here. So uh, my post end point uh, end point I'm just writing here Sla uh, slash you want if you keep it here you can now I'm just writing the function async 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 and def uh, creating create post endpoint okay so in this function uh, i am not passing right now any any, any of the uh, parameter over here let me just explain here i am just returning uh, the message only the message this is my uh, message so i am just writing here uh, this is my post endpoint post endpoint okay uh, so uh, we have created uh, uh, a simple uh, post endpoint so let's test this endpoint uh, whether it's working or not uh, so i'm just uh, opening my uh, chrome browser and just uh, hit the uh, this endpoint let's check it over the chrome browser let me just refresh my documentation page over here if you will see here uh, till then what we have done we will discuss about the get apis now uh, we are able to uh, see one more endpoint over here uh, that is the post endpoint so let's test the post endpoint what exactly the post endpoint is so to test the post endpoint what we need either we will just use the postman of this uh, uh, swagger documentation or either what we need to do we need to just open the postman and hit the uh, whatever the rest endpoint so let's try it click over the tryout now go to here uh, in this there is no input parameters we, do, we don't just pass to be any uh, input string and uh, anything else so i am just writing uh, just executing this command so when i am just hitting this i am getting the response back so response back will be the message that i have written so uh, till till now what we have done we have just created one endpoint and we will we'll just uh, get the whatever the response but we are not passing any uh, body parameters in it so uh, in let's discuss how we can pass the body parameter uh, how we can just pass the body parameter so body parameters what exactly the body parameters we just want to pass let me just write here we just want to just pass any name and another one i just say uh, we can any uh, amount these are the two parameters that we want to be pass any rest endpoint so how we can write our endpoint so let me just copy our simple uh, post endpoint and uh, i'm just passing post endpoint uh, with param with param so uh, this is the name of the function i am just modifying so the my rest endpoint that we are just uh, go, uh, we are seeing here slash post so the rest endpoint will be i am just uh, uh, rest endpoint with param okay this is my rest endpoint so now the point is what we are going to do we just want to be passing these two parameters so to defining this what we are uh, uh, what i am trying to do uh, what uh, I am just writing a one more uh, class that will be validate uh, that's also used for validation and all so let me just write a uh, class that sends the base param uh, that I am just trying to pass here uh, this is the name of my class and by default what 
uh, fast apis provide fast apis uh, provide one inheritance model that is base model so you need to write your inherit your base model in it uh, and when we are inheriting it so this method what we need to do we need to pick it from pi dynamics import base model so uh, this this is the most important thing that you have that you need to do and uh, now i am just going to be writing the uh, i am just writing here name the name is the string and uh, another parameter that uh, i'll told you that is amount so amount is my integer parameter so i'll just keep it int okay so these are only the two parameter that i just want to be pass it from the uh, pass it from uh, whatever our post uh, end point uh, via body parameters so now what i am going to do i am just including my base param whatever the base param i am just going to pass over here and when i am just writing it here uh, what i need to do i need to create one base param and the base param will be the object of this so whatever the parameter that i am receiving over here i am just passing to this my this now let's print the value so that we can be make sure that whatever the parameters that we have received what i am trying to do i am just returning those parameters to the uh, output so that i can observe and i can see the json structured whatever i have received it's perfectly fine so now it's time to test the uh, post endpoint yeah let's uh, uh, refresh our post uh, documentation uh, swagger documentation uh, when i am just refreshing him i am able to see here one more uh, rest endpoint will be here that is the post so let's click over there and now i am just clicking over try it out so let's check it out if you will see you will be able to see here the body parameters you will see the body parameters the body parameters will be the string and this now let me just pass this value here so uh, if i am just writing here the body parameter i am saying uh, this is the uh, jan name is jan and uh, the value will be the 200 amount will be the 200 so let's execute it when i am executing it you are able to see this is my response body parameter and you are able to see whatever the response message whatever the input parameter that i have passed from the a uh, postman we are receiving those parameters over here so i think this is the uh, uh, this is uh, the basics of uh, uh, the request body parameter and uh, we have successfully executed and created one rest endpoint uh, so uh, we will see the next things in the next uh, uh, next video so thanks for watching if you have any question doubt uh, you can post uh, uh, on the uh, chat area of the youtube session youtube and uh, we'll discuss whatever the rest things remaining in the next video yeah thanks thanks for watching